The Scrutiny Committee has commissioned 12 policy reviews and also some one-off issues of concern to the six lead scrutiny members and their supporting panels. As a scrutiny committee, we've been working together to embed the new scrutiny arrangements with members, officers and with partners. We've also been consulted on the budget proposals for 2013-14 and other key issues for the city, such as the future of libraries and the community resilience plan. We have undertaken our statutory health scrutiny role by considering the city's joint health and wellbeing strategy which sets out health priorities over the coming years and we have provided comments around three significant changes to healthcare provision in the city. The scrutiny committee continues to ask challenging questions providing a member perspective. This was highlighted in the comprehensive response to the clinical commissioning group about the proposed changes to urgent care in the city. Scrutiny continues to look at issues of real concern to the residents of Sunderland. In a time of austerity, our role has never been more important in both supporting the Cabinet and partners and helping to shape future plans for the city. We've looked at the transfer of the public health function to the local authority and how the various partners will work together. We haven't looked at the technicalities of the transfer, we've looked at the way that we can actually impact on the public's health and in particular we've recommended that the council adopts health impact assessments and for them to be on a par with the quality assessments for every project and decision. The outcomes were that we'll support strategies that will have a greater impact on key health issues and outcomes such as smoking, alcohol and obesity. The work of overview and scrutiny is very important to these new roles and relationships. Well, the department's strategy was to make public health more accountable and the local authority members are involved in the scrutiny of the actual delivery of that operation and it's really to enable the layperson to have their say and their view on these matters. The value of scrutiny is to be asking probing questions to everyone we meet, such as how these, these changes will lead to improvement and what will be better about this way of working. The panel has looked at the operation of the Council's Tell Us Once for Bereavement Service and also promoting recycling in Sunderland. For the Tell Us Once for Bereavement, our recommendations focused on ways of better publicising the benefits of the service to the public and the potential for adapting the lessons learned to other areas of service delivery. In terms of recycling, we feel that the Council has made great strides in recent years I'm pleased that the Council will continue to promote the benefits of recycling to our residents. Scrutiny has an important role in helping the Council to respond to the major challenges facing the City in the years ahead. I see the role of scrutiny to help advise the Council on policy development and also providing accountability for its actions. We can also respond to the concerns of local residents and help influence the behaviour of our partners and other agencies. Our first review looked at reducing re-offending, in particular accommodation issues for offenders, the transition between custody and the community and the way in which the city's prolific offenders are managed. The second review looks at domestic violence the services on offer within the city and how these are promoted and accessed by victims. The main finding from the Reduce and Reoffending review was that stable and secure accommodation for offenders is important in reducing reoffending. We therefore asked the Council to ensure future commissioning intentions reflect this and that private landlords are engaged to assist with this. In terms of the approach to domestic violence, we found that councillors and frontline staff 
have a key role to play in raising awareness of the issues and signposting victims to services. We have recommended that counsellors be enabled to do this through training and access to information. Scrutiny must continue to provide members with an opportunity to get to the heart of the difficult issues facing the city and take a good look at how the council and partners are making progress. On the panel, currently you're looking at the uh, operation of the work programme and also the National Apprenticeship uh, Scheme uh, that's running here in Sunderland. We went to so Viva and Igneous and uh, very impressed generally with the, what the work that we're doing. Uh, in terms of the work programme, I think the main conclusion is the uh, importance of an open and transparent uh, performance data uh, being made available to local authorities. In regard to apprenticeships, we feel more needs to be done to raise the profile and status of apprenticeships as an option for young people and work with employers and our partners to encourage more high quality apprenticeships. We're there to give a voice to the concerns of the residents of the City of Sunderland. Uh, and we're there to influence the behaviour of our partners and other service providers to promote the best interests for the people of, of the City of Sunderland. That's to play its part in uh, ensuring the council is a well-governed authority. We look at the, the, the reports that come before they go to Cabinet and we make our re recommendations and Cabinet looks at them, takes them into account The panel has looked at the Education Act 2011 and also the participation and engagement of young people in service design and delivery. The outcome of the first review was that we found out about how the Education Act would work in, in local schools. We also looked at how the local authority were responding to this on a local basis, uh, what preparations were being made and what changes they would make to their service delivery to meet it. Our other review looks to further strengthen and develop the excellent participation and engagement that the Council already undertakes with children, young people and their families to enhance services. I think the main role of, of scrutiny locally is to look at how you can deliver services that are good but on a reduced budget what you have to do to change those services to meet the amount of funding that, that you have and also to consult with people in the city and what they would want the local authority to, to concentrate on and provide for them. Through the scrutiny committee and its supporting panels, members of the council can look in depth at key issues and work with officers and external partners to deliver outcomes and innovative approaches which best use our resources as well as enhancing services for the people of Sunderland. Well, this year we have looked at two very different issues. The first one was access to mental health services across Sunderland and the second one was looking at empty housing across the city. The reviews are always extremely interesting and provide members with the opportunity to really get into an issue and look at how we, as a council, can improve or develop. The recommendations aim to strengthen awareness of the serious issues arising from mental ill health and the need for clear pathways to services. The second review was around the difficult issue of empty properties in Sunderland and we hope that the recommendations will help the city develop and move forward in getting empty houses back into use. The ability of the panel to visit and question key people is one of the most important aspects of our work. Scrutiny will continue to be pivotal to the operation of the council. Let us not forget that the scrutiny committee and its panels are made up from frontline councillors, all of whom are very passionate about Sunderland and ensuring that we provide the best services we can Scrutiny members will continue to look at key issues facing the city 
and through this continue to provide a voice for residents and citizens of Sunderland. What could be more important for all of us than good mental health and the security of having a roof over our heads? We will continue to monitor the outcomes of both of these reviews.